Um, now, this is a great topic, actually. This made us laugh a lot this morning. I'm sure lots of you may have been guilty of pulling the odd sickie from work in your time or from, you know, trying to get out of school when you were little. Graham Norton took it to the extreme when he's little, when he was little, because he's admitted that when he was a child, he once lied about his stomachache to get out of school. Um, but then his mum took him to the doctor and then the doctor said, oh, I think we need to take him to the hospital. And he didn't know when to stop and they ended up taking out his appendix <laughs> <laughs> because they couldn't work out where the stomachache was coming from. And he said, and he, he only told his mum very recently because he said, you know, I just couldn't get out of it. And I said it made, it suddenly reawakened this memory for me that years ago, I probably was about seven, I was having a sleepover with a so-called friend and it turned out to be one of those not very nice sleepovers where she suddenly didn't want to play with me anymore and went off with her sister and I was on my own. Mm -hmm. And I remember, I remember it so vividly because she had bunk beds and I was sitting on the bottom bunk bed crying because I was on my own and thinking, I don't want to stay here. Mm -hmm. And her mum came in and instead of saying, she said, what's the matter? Instead of me saying, your daughter's a mean girl and she won't play with me, I went, I've got a really bad tummy ache. <laughs> she was like, oh my goodness. And once I started and then I had to keep going, oh, it's really bad because actually all I wanted to do was go home. She then called my mum Mom. My mum and dad came and I had to carry on. Like, it's really bad, Mum. And then my dad said, I think we should take her straight to the hospital. And they drove me to the hospital and I was getting more and more scared, <laughs> oh, thinking, oh I don't know how to say oh. now. <laughs> and she hadn't got a tummy ache, I just wanted to come home. And they examined me. Fortunately, it didn't get as far as Graham's. <laughs> they just went, no, we can't find anything wrong and gave me some milk and magnesium or something and sent me home. And I've never actually told my parents. I must oh. share that. Mum, if you're watching, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really have a tummy ache. So I'm, <laughs> I'm so pleased that Ruth cleaner than nicer than everyone, Ruth has got a murky <laughs> past. I've told so many lies. To I was going to say, how long have we got? Yeah, well, exactly. So I had to pick a lie this morning. They said, you've got to pick the worst lie you've ever told. And my lie uh, started when my partner said he had to work abroad for the weekend. So he had to go to Italy to do a job. So he said to me, what are you going to do? And I said, it's all right, I'll go to the country. The minute he'd left, I packed a little bag, I went to Heathrow and I got on a plane to New York. <laughs> I went to New York, had dinner with this bloke I've been seeing on the quiet, I uh, spent the weekend with him, had a fantastic time in New York and on Sunday night I went back to uh, JFK Airport and caught the plane back to England and encountered my partner and he said, well, where have you been? And I said, well, I went to the country, um, actually. And he went, where? Where? And I said, I went to New York. I said, I didn't say which country. <laughs> I didn't say which country. <laughs> Colly, I bet, I bet you didn't tell lies to your mum, did you? Well, the thing is, my mother was an Irish mother of eight, so she knew all the tricks. But whenever I woke up thinking, oh, it's double maths today, I don't want to go to school, I would always do that. I don't feel very well, I've got a stomachache or I feel sick. And every single time she'd go, well, get up and you'll be better after a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> and did you use the same with your kids? Did you say the same to them? It'd be all right when you've had a cup I of tea. I still do. I still <laughs> do. But I've also made excuses for my kids. And I convinced myself so much that Kira suffered migraines because I used to sometimes... If she didn't feel well, I'd say, oh, she's got a bit of a migraine, she can't come in, to the point where when we were at the doctor's, I said, yeah, she suffers really bad with the migraines. And Kira was like, <laughs> Convinced I've yourself. never had a migraine in my life. <laughs> Believed your own lie. Bet you didn't yes. lie to Well, uh, being raised in a Pentecostal religious family, the boy who cried wolf was always rammed down my throat. So, so no, no lies. leave it out. But people have been sending in but their I, lies. I have got a, a nice comment from Marie. She said, um, when I was five, I lied and told my teacher I had a toothache. I went home at lunchtime and my mum dragged me to the dentist. I had five teeth out. <laughs> this was in the 1960s. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, you are. Oh. Be careful. Be very careful. What a tangled web we weave. <laughs> OK, thank you very much for your comments. We always love to hear from you.